Hi guys, this is Tom Gutierrez and I'm really excited to demo the brand spanking new Fishman SA330X. It's brand new on the market. Um, for me, I think this solves a multitude of problems uh, in a live gigging environment, so let's get started. Um, like most of you guys, uh, I gig a lot. I need something that's going to be durable, that sounds good, that's easy to load. Um, and as a former SA220 user, that particular thing fit the bill but one of the things that used to bug me about the SA220 was the fact that it was I mean granted it's built it was made for a solo performer but when my duo performed he had to have one too and so sometimes it was a little bit you know it was a little much for us to carry and we wanted something that was going to be smaller um, so we went to smaller amps and we're using loud box minis for a while uh, currently I'm using a Shirtler uh, or SR Technologies Jam 150 plus um, and it's great for solo gigs, but it, again, it, it doesn't solve that problem of when we had to, you know, be a, or work as a duo. And so uh, that's where this particular amp comes in. The, uh, the 330X, I'm familiar with it from the 220 days, and so, and it really hasn't changed much at all uh, in that regard. There's more wattage. To me, it sounds a little fatter, sounds bigger uh, than it did before, maybe due to the wattage, I don't know, but it does sound, it sounds a little beefier to me. Um, also, the one thing that uh, they added was the expander system, which I'll get to in a second, and of course it's still easy as heck to transport. So uh, let's talk about some of the features. Um, the features are actually the same. Uh, you get that three band EQ, you get that great notch filter, you just turn the knob and, he, and it busts feedback wherever that notch happens to land and, and catch that feedback, so it's really, really simple to use. Um, you have a couple of phase switches. Of course, uh, if you run some pretty hot mics, there's a pad. Uh, there's a low cut switch. Um, the 330X, just like the 220, has phantom power. Uh, very important for me because I run a condenser mic live. I'm using a blue Encore 300. That's what I'm talking through right now. And, um, and I use that live. And so having phantom power is really, really important. So uh, that's on there as well. Uh, on the back panel, you've got DI outs for vocals and for guitar. You also have a, a, a post DI out, which will take all your reverb and stuff and send that to the board. And that's what I'm running to the board right now, as you can see. Go ahead and show you that. And that's going right to my board, so you're picking up a little bit of room. And then, of course, the direct signal as well. Um, and then you've got this phone jack back here, it, which is where you... Ex uh, connect the expander. There's also a subwoofer that comes along with that and you can connect that through here as well. And then of course your auxiliary ends quarter inch and uh, and eighth inch. If you run house music or anything like that. Um, so let's talk about the expander. That's the thing I'm really excited about. So this is it right here. Um, as you can see it's a four channel expander. I love it. It's really small. Seems pretty, pretty durable. Uh, you can throw it right into a gig bag or something like that, and 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 just transport it very easily. It hooks up with a phone cable, pretty standard phone cable. You can get these anywhere, and that's how it draws the phantom power. So um, as you can see, the channels are here, and the, again, very intuitive, just like the front panel of the SA. Uh, 330X, then you get your four XLR slash quarter inch inputs, and then phantom power on this. So if you run condenser mics, you can run them on the expander as well. Really cool. Reverb, the whole deal. I can control. If I go solo, I just take the, take the pole. If I am working with my duo, then I drag the expander out, throw it into the gig bag, and off and running, we're completely set up full PA for us. And that's plenty because we play small to medium venues. And that's plenty. We used to do that with the SA220, no problem. This has even more power, so I'm not anticipating any issues with that at all. Now, um, the one thing that I was a little disappointed with is the gig bag. The former, the 220 used to have a really nice bag. It was a zipper. The zipper was a little flimsy, but it had a pocket uh, where the, the expander would have fit in there perfect. And then it had another uh, section where you could put the speaker pole in. This doesn't have that, and I was kind of, I was pretty disappointed actually. It's just a drawstring padded bag, but there's no extra pockets and stuff, so you're gonna have to find a way to transport that stuff on your own. I really wish it would have been an all-in-one kind of bag, but they didn't do that this time around, so that was that was very disappointing. It was kind of a bummer. Hopefully, they come out with something later. If they do, I'm probably gonna buy it. So, 
uh, that would be really, really convenient for gigs. Unfortunately, that didn't happen with this. Um, so let's get to some sounds. Um, I'm going to show you the reverb sounds. There's four different uh, reverbs. I'm running my controller at about 10 o'clock, so I'll just kind of show you what the tail is. As you move through the unit, the tail gets longer, so you can see that. I'll go ahead and do that now. So this is setting number one. Check. Check. You can see the tail is fairly short. Tail gets longer on setting number two. Check. Check. My personal favorite setting, but of course this is all personal preference, so. Third setting. Check. Check. Much longer tail, and then the fourth one gets pretty cavernous. Check. Check. So you can see that uh, those are the four reverb settings, and of course you can dial up as much of that as you want. I only had it at about 10 o'clock, and on that fourth setting you can hear it's pretty expansive. Um, now I'm, I'll go ahead and do some uh, guitar stuff for you just really quickly. For all you gearheads, this is a Taylor. Uh, GA Custom, all mahogany guitar. I've got all the settings on this straight up, so it's actually fairly, uh, you know, fairly neutral sounding here. And uh, you can hear the guitar. Let me get make sure the reverb's on. So I'll place, I'll strum a little bit. You can hear that. Now I'll go ahead and finger pick for you guys that do that. And like I said, I think the guitar sounds bigger than it used to. It's just, uh, I thought the 220 at times could sound a little bit thin. This has a little more girth on the bottom end. Now here's the vocal solo, so you can hear that. Now I'll be your crying shoulder. I'll be love suicide. Now I'll be better when I'm older. I'll be the greatest fan of your life. And now together. Uptown got its hustlers. Bowery got its bums. 40 Sanger Street got Big Jim Walker. He's a pool shooting son of a gun. Well, he's big and dumb as a man can come. And he's stronger than a country horse. And the bad folks get together at night. You know they all call Big Jim Balls. He's just big enough. Well, they say you don't tug on Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind You don't fool the mask of the old Lone Ranger And you don't mess around with Jim So my opinion, based on what I know of the SA220 and now adding this in, this thing is going to be a gig machine for me. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it sounds really good, super easy to set up. Um, it's, it's light, it's portable, fits throw it right in the back seat. Really, really cool. Um, so I'm excited to try it live, and when I do, I'll post some footage of that as well. But uh, I'm already highly recommending this piece of gear. And the expander for me brings it home because I can do solo gigs. And then when my uh, duo plays, I just hook up the expander, and we are off and running. If we need something bigger, we can DI out right into a bigger PA, and we're all set up. So I uh, can't really think of anything that I... That, uh, that would be a weakness for me. Maybe that gig bag, but I can live with that. So if you guys have any questions for me, please post them down below, and I'm happy to answer as many as you guys have. 
And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.